Okay, so the next thing we need to understand, and that was really a basic kind of review, is, is um, what generations of, of the memory that we've gone through are, and when we talk about it, um, what RAM generations mean. Okay, the next thing is understanding uh, what generation means when we talk about uh, RAM itself. Uh, so that's our, our next goal today. So dynamic RAM went through a bunch of changes during my lifetime, uh, not necessarily during your lifetime, where it evolved from different kinds of single inline mem memory modules, which is what SIM stands for, uh, that we had originally, and we evolved into dual inline memory modules that we have today. Um, and as we did that, we became, uh, we had what uh, in modern memory was synchronous dynamic random access memory, or SDRAM. SDRAM is still what we have today, uh, although it's evolved and we don't call it SDRAM anymore. Uh, it is SDRAM, meaning it synchronizes with the motherboard speed and information gets transferred to memory as a relationship to how fast the motherboard is going. This is what the original SDRAM chips look like, and they had two notches in them. The new versions of SDRAM, called DDR, uh, only have one. Now, DDR originally stood for double data rate. Well, it still does. But double data rate was because the first stick of DDR was double the speed of the last stick that was made of SDRAM. This went at 133 megahertz, and the very first stick of DDR came out at 266 megahertz. So while originally it actually meant something, it was double the data rate of the previous model, it really doesn't mean that anymore. When we talk about DDR, DDR2, DDR3, and DDR4, it doesn't mean that it got twice as fast, three times as fast, and four times as fast. It just means it's a new generation. So generation one of DDR is just called DDR. Generation two of DDR was called DDR2, and then it became DDR3, and it became DDR4. The size of the sticks didn't really change. However, the speeds of them changed dramatically. The number of gold connections changed as they evolved and the notch out here moved just slightly uh, as we went to different generations so that you couldn't put the wrong generation into um, a motherboard. You can see here the, the speeds, you can see where it says, and this is not an all-inclusive table whatsoever, you can see the fastest SDR uh, or SDRAM uh, was it moved at 133 megahertz. It doesn't even have the first one on this table. It was at 266. And the speeds continued to go up uh, as we went to new generations. So DDR, DDR2, DDR3, DDR4 are just different generations or evolution of RAM. Today, we use DDR4. If you're looking at a motherboard that uses DDR3, which many of ours here at the school have, the speed is slower than a current DDR4 system. Uh, the CPUs of today need DDR4 RAM, so the motherboards of today use DDR4 RAM. Most of our PCs here at National Trail are still DDR3. They're high, they're the highest generation of DDR3 before it switched to DDR4, but they are DDR3. So the generation that referred to is that number on the end uh, so when you're asked, hey, what generation is that memory? If it's DDR4, it's fourth generation uh, memory. Now, just to take a look at the change here, you can see the, the gold um, connections here got uh, more as we went from DDR up to DDR4. The notch changed and moved. Uh, I can't see this notch very well right there. Um, but the size of the RAM really stayed the same. The, the, the way we take in and put out RAM, the ones on the machines that we uh, work on in the classroom, when we pull them apart and put them together, are either DDR1 or DDR2. I can't even remember. They might be DDR2. I think they're DDR1. The act of putting them in and taking them out is the same between DDR1, DDR, DDR2, 3, and 4. It's just you need to make sure it matches uh, the motherboard that you're working with. The last thing about, um, and this is really a, a short section, the last thing about generations I wanted to talk about is the difference between a DIMM 
and a so dim. A dim, you can see the word dim here up on this uh, stick of RAM, is a full-sized stick that goes in most PCs. I won't say all because there's some small form factor PCs that uses so dims. So dims, however, are the smaller sticks of RAM that go into, in general, laptops. When we do things in this chapter of this class, we're almost always talking about DIMMs. We're talking about full-size sticks of memory for a PC. Uh, and I bring that out now because when we do our research project, um, I will say every other year at this point, there's someone who presents a stick of RAM for their PC that's a SODEM. All the ATEX motherboards that you've done presentations for use full size sticks of DDR4 RAM. None of them use SODEMs, so please make sure when you're looking at them, you make sure you're looking at a full size stick of di a DIM, not a SODEM uh, that you would buy for your laptop and such. Uh, so uh, that's where we're going to stop right now for introduction to what is SD RAM, uh, what is DDR. Uh, RAM that we're using today, what generation, which is DDR4 today, and the difference between a stick of SD RAM and a SODIM stick that we use for a laptop.